If this is the sun, then these two pots form a Dyson sphere. The inside is completely covered in solar panels to collect every watt of sun power. And all this power can replace all our power plants, control the weather worldwide, deflect asteroids, and maybe even enable time travel. We're going to build a Dyson Sphere and learn how much power it can capture. If you stick around until the end, we'll examine the evidence that aliens may have already built seven of them. If you want to examine more cool science videos, be sure to subscribe. Our Sun is 864,000 miles in diameter and generates almost all of the energy we experience on Earth. If the Sun was this size, the Earth would be the size of a peppercorn and 70 feet away. The amount of solar energy that reaches us is only two billionth of the total output of the Sun. Imagine if we could capture a lot more of this clean power, maybe even all of it. That's what a Dyson Sphere is all about. Let's get started building one. Here's the solar cell that we'll be using to convert sunlight to electricity. The initial panels would likely be placed in orbit around the sun, but we're going to use a geodesic structure like this to secure the solar panels. One at a time, these massive structures would be added, increasing the amount of captured energy. Then we connect them all together and send the energy back to Earth or wherever we want it. We use power beaming a real technology that was demonstrated four years ago at the Naval Service Warfare Center in Bethesda, Maryland. But we're going to use a cable. How much power would these cells generate? Let's first look at how much power we now have on Earth. All the coal and natural gas power plants, nuclear plants, and renewables worldwide currently generates 30 terawatt hours. That's 30 trillion kilowatt hours. But what's a kilowatt hour? One kilowatt hour is 1,000 watts of power for one hour, or 2,000 watts for 30 minutes. Running the dishwasher requires about one kilowatt hour. By the way, the cost for a kilowatt hour in January of 2024 was 10 cents in Arkansas and 32 cents in Hawaii. So we humans can now harness 30 trillion dishwasher loads per hour. Let's represent that amount of power by this one LED. How much power would our Dyson ring generate? At a distance of 2 million miles from the sun, our megastructure at scale would generate 1 trillion times more power than all the power we produce on Earth. And look something like this, compared to our sad little LED. Can we produce more power? Yes, by adding more mega solar panels. Every added panel increases the total power to enable us to realize more ambitious projects. Has anyone already built a Dyson Sphere? A scientific paper was recently published that indicated seven stars in the Milky Way show unusual characteristics that may be the result of a megastructure like a Dyson Sphere. As observed from Earth, a star surrounded by a Dyson Sphere would appear to dim, fluctuate, or even disappear depending on the megastructure design. Also, the heat from a star would cause the Dyson Sphere to heat up and emit large amounts of infrared radiation, heat. Spikes in these wavelengths are not normal and can be spotted by our telescopes. That is exactly what has been reported recently. Sadly, there are natural explanations for these spikes. A young galaxy forming directly behind the star of interest or a large dust cloud could explain the unusual infrared signatures. Astronomers will continue observing these stars and other intriguing phenomena in hopes of learning more about our universe. In the meantime, you can learn more about the four most influential scientists of all time. Click here.